Hello friends, welcome to beautiful Indianapolis, Indiana. I am at church, St. Joseph's Church. Uh, started as a church in 1887 when the cornerstone was laid, and then it was finished in 1880, and it was a Catholic church for many years until I believe the late 40s or 50s, and now it's a brewery, so let's go try some of their beer. St. Joseph's Brewery and Public House. I love when these old churches turn into breweries. here that they sell cakes. I've never seen a brewery that offered the price of cakes on their menu. So we have quite a few beers here to check out. All the beers have church related names. So you have Cornerstone, Kolsch. You know, the, the Cornerstone was laid here in 1887 as we said. Benevolent. You got Belgian, Benevolent Belgian. You got Confessional IPA. St. Nick's Baltic Porter, you know, churchy stuff. St. Nick's Baltic Porter was tapped last week at 7.6%. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. Let's try it. I like that. It's a little sweet. You know, porters are a little sweeter than a stout, and typically. This one is a little sweeter for sure. I like it. It's like a. Nicely balanced beer. Doesn't taste like a 7.6. It tastes good. I like their brew house here. I like this right out in the open. It takes up the front part of the, the church where the priest or the pastor usually stands. I wish you could see like all the inner workings, but that wall is in the way. Oh well. The next beer is the Cornerstone Colch. I thought I'd slow it down a little bit. So the last one was seven and change percent. This one's only 5%. Very crisp, very clean, nice finish. It's hardly anything to it. It's like uh, beer flavored water in a good way. In a good way. Usually I say that in a bad way, but this is in a good way. I think it's because I just drink such a heavy flavored beer that this one doesn't taste like much. Check this out, something I noticed on their menu. You see here the Kolsch is $5.50. But the Crowler is only six dollars fifty cents more. You can get two beers, basically sixteen ounce, fifty cents more. You get thirty-two. Crowler is only ten bucks. What a deal! Most of the Crowlers on this menu are eight dollars. That's it. Ten dollars. Some I see eleven dollars, twelve dollars for a Crowler fill. That's excellent. I was glancing down at this little advertisement. You see that select Crowlers during the week are five dollars it says available sunday through thursday so part of the weekend too that is amazing what a great deal i was noticing something on the website i was just looking at their website looking at the beers and the history of the building and stuff they're closed three days of the year that's it thanksgiving christmas eve and christmas day i'm surprised that this brewery being in an old church isn't open on christmas eve at midnight it's a catholic church too. it was a catholic church why don't they open up and have like a beer party at midnight on Christmas Eve? I would do that. That's just me. No, that's just me. Think of all the midnight masses that happened right here in this church for like 100 years. Maybe not 100 years, but 60, 70 years of its time as actually being a church. And maybe pay tribute to all those masses and have like a mass beer drinking or something. I don't know. Okay, it came to me. If I had a brewery like this in an old church, I would have midnight grass, and it would be bluegrass music played to candlelight with beer, just for the mug club members. That's what I would do. Midnight grass. You have to be in the mug club to be there. That's that's it. You could, you could bring a partner or a friend, whatever. Bluegrass. Yeah. I would do it right up there. I'd have a whole stage set up, like right where the, the pastor would have normally spoke. Of course. In 1887, how did they get up there to create that ceiling? 
That was, that's pretty far up there. It's like 30 feet or 40 feet up there. Lots of scaffolding. I'd love to see how they did that. As I'm looking around here, I'm sampling a couple beers. Like this one right here is a stout. Just a regular stout. I didn't get the name. I'll look it up and tell you. Ooh, a little smoky. I like that. I like the finish on this. Got this interesting, smoky, subtle flavor. Very subtle. I like this. I like this beer. Wow. I like this. Great finish. Got a really nice aroma to it. You can you can smell it as you're lifting it up to your to your face to drink it. Mm. Nice. Very nice beer. They're pretty heavy on the darker beers here. You got a, a dark lager, a couple of stouts, a couple of porters. Good stuff. The stout was good, but I decided to go with the amber. This is the absolution. Amber. Only six dollars to fill a crowler with this. You get 32 ounces for six dollars. Crazy. This is a really good beer. Different than any kind of amber I've ever had in my life. This is very unique. It's got a different type of flavor to it. I can't quite put my finger on what it is that I'm tasting in this beer, but it's got a nice finish. It's got a kind of bready. It's not super bready. I'm always looking for that bready finish in an amber beer, especially. But this one doesn't have a super punchy in the face bready finish. It's got something else that's like, tastes pretty good. I, whatever it is, I like it. I, I need better words to tell you what I think about this beer. But I, I would drink two or three of these on a normal day. This is pretty good. Time for me to walk around and check out the brewery a little bit. Let's do it. That's how I signify that somebody's sitting in my seat. I put my carabiner on it. Well, I want to check out upstairs. They had a private party going on until just a few minutes ago, so now we get to go look. I'm going to disturb the party. They gave me permission to come up here and film it which I appreciate very much because the view up here is pretty astounding. I love this view of the brewery. Up here in this little balcony area, they're still having dinner up there. It's a big group on a big table and they rent this space out and you can reserve this for your, your friends if you want to. I'm not gonna go up there, of course, but I just wanted to hang out up here and check out the view, see what it was like up here. Nice place. Noticing on the woodwork that the original paint is still underneath this brown color. I wonder what it looked like when it was first built back in 1887, 1880. It's a little cold this evening, but they have outdoor seating. I noticed all the food is coming out of the basement there. They must have the kitchen down underneath the place. I also wonder what that's like. Last beer of the night, friends, is a 4.7% black lager. It's called the Dark Angel. I love these black lagers. They're so good. This one's like, got this smoky flavor. It's a really good finish to it. Tastes like a great lager. Thanks for joining me today, friends, here at St. Joseph's Brewery in Indianapolis, Indiana. I appreciate your company. I'll see you at the next brewery. Really nice beer here. I like this place.